Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Monster Train! Last episode, I said what we'd probably do, rather than randomize, is I would intentionally go and make sure we've got, like, a, um, a victory with the various things we haven't unlocked yet. So, we're gonna do that. Uh, we did just do a run as Stygian plus Hellhorn, which I think was our second win with that combination. I'm gonna go Umbra plus Hellhorn. We only have one win. Or, do I wanna go Umbra plus Stygian? Sure. Start. Umbra plus Stygian. There you go. We're gonna go Covenant Zero. Still have tons of unlocks to do. Still figuring out a lot of the possible combos. Uh, last game was our first time where we did a... Um, oh, sorry. I forgot to read that message. Um, devour your spells. So I think he's going to do a thing where it consumes like the first spell every turn. Something like that. Um, but I was going to say, our last game was the first one where we did a very spell-centric run, and it was awesome. So we're going to see more of that. Um, I'll pick the... I guess I'll pick the trinket first. What is my champion with this guy? Right, it's 2020. Oh, we gave him, I think, a bunch of Devour stuff last time. Right, and we've got more Morsel spawning, and we've got that. Okay. Let's take a look here first. Frostbite stacks. Well, I mean, we do have Stygian. And Frostbite doesn't decay. I think this is too strong. I think this is too strong to ignore. I mean, don't get me wrong. Wow, this makes the stewards pretty powerful. But no, we're going to do this. We're going to make a Frostbite-centric deck. Which would be better if we were Stygian first, because our champion would have Frostbite. Uh, I think last time we went Architect, and that was pretty amazing. Well, we went a little... I think we got at least one of these, and then we got some of the lifesteal. Um, we don't need the capacity right away. The capacity stuff is kind of cool, and it does mean... Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the... Uh, I think I'm going to this side. At least to start off with. And he can sort of carry us here. We'll just put all the morsels for him. I like he starts strong enough that he can do it. Um, enemies start on every floor. We're going to accept that. Worst case scenario, we take some pirate damage. Like, worst case scenario, we don't kill a single one of them. We take some pyre damage, and we still end up at 75 gold. So that's the only thing that really matters. Um, three, yeah, okay, we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to go and get a couple morsels in here to feed to this guy. We'll gain energy. He'll gain some damage. That's going to be fine. Um, they're all going to die regardless. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Frozen Lance one of these, because that'll be less damage onto the pyre. The pyre will take... Uh, Potentially nine if I don't kill any damage, if I don't do anything. Just, you know, those, and then these guys will just be one each. Uh, we got a loot monkey over here, which we'd like to get. Um, I don't know if the train steward's necessarily worth it. I would like to feed more things to this. Okay. I think we got to focus on getting the morsels down regardless. We're gonna do some of that. Um, I'm gonna put down one train steward to kill this one. And yeah, so you'll only do one extra damage to the pyre. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap down two train stewards here. Sort of develop our defense. And I'm gonna ignore those guys. I think I said nine damage, I meant ten. Forgot there was four of them over there. So it'd be ten total damage to the pyre. And I think that's fine. Morsel. Um, oops. That was the wrong card. I could, oh, you're going to die regardless. So actually, it really doesn't matter what I do. Okay. Boom. Creepy ass. Umbra guy. The Umbra guy's got too many arms. Umbrums. None of it makes sense. Sorry. Um... That's interesting, because it does get the energy back, but I think, again, we wanted to hopefully do a Frostburn base deck. This is fairly useful. Oh, the last time, you know what? We have a better card, because it didn't have to slay anything to generate stuff. Um, we don't have any direct damage for hitting someone in the back, though. Right? We got frontline attacks, and that's about it. Okay, one little sniper thing might be a pretty good value. Okay, Frostbite. Yeah, it's expensive. Unless we just want the cheaper one. You know what? It applies just about as much Frostbite. Oh, enemy units. Oh, it's expensive. It could work with Offering Tech, though. Huh. 
Huh. Alright, you know what? Let's commit to that. Obviously, it's gonna it's gonna require a certain amount of uh extra ads to make it work out. Uh I really want to upgrade spells, but I really mostly want another unit. I mean the money's good too. Because we've got some pretty neat spells that would be great to upgrade. But I think I think early on it feels like the unit upgrades are more important. We can get something else that generates frostbite. No, but we can it can't. Um you can't with the draw. I mean we did play with it last time, it was kind of fun. You can't with three armor. Actually might be a little bit better. You're I like the width one though, which is kind of nice. We don't really benefit from the extra draws right now. You know what? I'm going to get this guy because I haven't played with him yet. Okay. And then some more incant stuff. But multi-strike. Oh, no. We don't actually have a good multi-strike target. I think we're just going to make you super tanky. I'm going to remove a steward. I want to remove a second one. Um, I think we'll just save money for the next floor. Oh, the next floor doesn't need money. Never mind. Well, then I think I'm going to remove a Frozen Lance. Rather than a Steward right now. We'll want to remove more Stewards, but the Frozen Lances aren't really going to do much for us, I think. We're not building around the synergy of that. They're going to come in with armor. Um, I'm actually kind of okay with it. Unit draft isn't one of the most spectacular one of the options. But I think we're okay. Like, if it was an artifact, it'd be a no-brainer. Or, like, 200 gold. Because we don't know if it's going to be a unit we necessarily care about. Okay, I'm definitely going to put you down. Oh, but now you're not eating. And you're full anyway. Although, I can put you down because morsels don't eat each other, so we may as well get you down there. Um, so I'll do that. Hmm. Maybe I could have put my, my champion on the middle floor. I don't have direct damage for that thing. Okay, so this doesn't do anything bad. It just costs me a buck to get rid of. Okay, cast it on this floor. Place it here. And put you in front. Yeah, he's gonna escape. When was the last time we let one of those escape? But we have very little direct damage. We have one direct damage spell in this deck. Do we have room for morsels? Yeah, no, this 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 whole setup was very badly done. Was this staying in my hand? It might be. And I can't kill you. Oh, right, it doesn't count as an incant either. Yeah, no, this is done terribly. This is this. Got to make sure to keep in mind the capacity. Uh, that's the boss. Well, we want to put frostbite on you right away. And killing your buddy wouldn't be bad either. And we'll still have one energy left over anyway. There you go. And the frostbite doesn't decay. Oh, we're going to win. Oh, okay. Wasn't actually expecting that. Oh, I should... Oh, no, I wouldn't have killed him anyway. Unless they put a train steward up there, but no, no diff. Yeah, if nothing else, just the 12 frostbite per turn non-decaying is huge. 
So let's hope the unit draft gives us um, the Frostbite Sweeper would be really nice. Damage shield, Morsel Miner. Flaps. Um... I mean, puts in our hand so we can i guess the thing with this is we can keep casting the spell over and over and getting more morsels that way and those are pretty powerful morsels it's expensive but maybe we can make it cheaper i like the morsels whatever we'll, we'll get you um okay we do have frostbite tech we do have an offering card which this would work well with but with our morsels we actually do get energy boost from time to time I think I'm going to grab the Flash Freeze, and on the fights where the boss shows up early, we can go and target him that way. I love the Morsel Maker. Yeah. Alright. Duplicate a card, Pyre Health event. I don't think we've got a card worth duplicating right now. Um, you've got some buffs here, admittedly, but I'm not sure you're that impressive. Whereas over here we get an artifact, and to me that's more important. I'm going to go and check the artifact first, rather than the unit. Remove a buff when an enemy unit, when it enters your train. Oh, start a battle, summon a mor morsel miner on each floor. Yeah, let's do that. There we go, sweep and frostbite. And it really benefits, it's like, you know, like nearly 50% more because of the cuddle beard. Alright, which one you got for me? Uh, which one's this? Iceberg. This fall. Oh, I've seen this. Right, plus one pass in each floor, plus three on a random floor. Mine okay, well, we don't need the magic power. I think we want plus one on each floor. Gives us a lot more flexibility, too, when we get the next thing. Yeah, it puts us to three to six everywhere, which is nice. Yeah, I think after Daedalus is this when we get our um, the extra artifact, the extra trinket that we can choose plus one capacity or plus one energy or whatever. They're coming with a damage shield. The most annoying one because it protects from both spells and regular damage. Right now he's going to die unless we do something about it. Well, yeah, so here's what I think we're going to do. I'm going to have Penundra, Penumbra over here. And we're going to put the Morsel Maker, because he's got a Gorge ability. So we want to make sure he gets fed a lot. So we're going to do that. And then what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to put him down. So he tanks the hit, and he'll get to eat that. And what we'll do, our Shade Splitters will try to cast them here, and then deploy them, you know, maybe here or wherever. Get a Life Steal. A bit of gorging. Nice. Okay. Um, this is actually a great time for Titan's Tooth. Because it'll also apply Frostbite to this guy. It won't kill this, unfortunately, because of the damage shield. But it's still a great time for it. We did lose the one morsel. And I'm okay with it, though. Yeah, he's just going to start ticking away. Um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to Shade Splitter and Shade Splitter. Uh, I'm going to Flash Freeze this guy to stack more Frostbite, which does not decrease. This floor is full, so I can't do anything there, so I guess we're going to give you some morsels up here. Enjoy. Nom nom nom. We are going to take some damage here. Do this to pop his shield. Now I'm going to target him with this, which will give us more morsels. Which I don't have room for over here. Um, maybe I will put you down here. Could have been more damage now, but I think that's going to be okay. Um, and maybe what I'll do is I'll just buff you up a little bit. I know you're not the most important, but this thing's going to be tough enough okay. And this way you can frontline a little. I don't know.
Hmm. As I say, it's another good time for Titan's Tooth. And we still have an energy left over. Although I can't direct damage you, unfortunately. Do that. wave we didn't get to kill him before the wave came in unfortunately but it's not a big deal um frostbite well we can't accrue it over there um drop you in so you will be frosting and frostbiting those guys so they're all gonna die which is great and then over here oh you're gonna die no, so none of this matters never mind didn't realize we already had the lethal done and done So we already have a capacity boost. Um, now that is interesting. We've actually seen that Wretch is actually pretty cool. Disgusting graphic. It actually makes me sick just like looking at it. Um, but the morsel regeneration is actually pretty nifty. But if we like add um, trample, say to the penundra, penumbra, then um, as he keeps gaining power from gorge and from eating the morsels, he becomes really good. I think I like this. We're going to do that. No more Frostbite, unfortunately. Um, I don't think we're going to get more Encants. I'm thinking we may grab... He's pretty beefy. And he's gorgy. Um, and I think we're taking the Fell's Remorse for plus one energy. We got a couple of things that cost two. Yeah. I think I like that better. And we got we got the extra capacity from the extra artifact, which is a nice, nice get. Money Merchant Umbra. Merchant Stygian Unit. Remove cards. I think we're going to go left. I think I want another Umbral Unit. Yeah. Let's peek here. It's not going to really affect the other picks so much. Although we are going to have the option of double stacking something. Which is probably going to be this for maximum Frostbite. We, may, we can make it cheaper as well, which is nice. Okay, let's wait on this. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much of a difference between these two. Checking first. We can get another Morsel Maker. Where this guy gains damage shield when he gorges. Huh. Obviously, you're going to have to be on a different floor than our boss, because they'll sort of conflict. I actually don't know what's a priority here. Because really, like, bottom floor is usually, or some floor anyway, is probably going to be Penumbra. Oh, you've got a Gorge bonus as well. You know what? Let's just grab a Morsel Maker. We might get another one of those afterwards, but for now it's okay. Let's check the Dark Forge, and then we'll check the shop. Um, we could get extra... Um, um, capacity but well, we probably don't need capacity on the boss floor if we can get the guy that doubles up the uh, morsel summons or even if we could always put two morsel makers on the same floor as our boss too um and really the problem is going to be the seven unit cap more than actual capacity so i think i'm just going to double up on his actual gorge ability i will really just try to feed the boss like crazy all right i think this is fine apply lots of frostbite Even though it's got Consume, I think this is worth it because it's going to be much easier to get off that ability. Got the Offering. So it can be cast more cheaply. That we don't have a mechanic for it, but we might. Reducing that cost might be good, but I'm actually thinking I'm going to reduce the cost of making a Morsel. Because we haven't actually cast it yet, because it's been too awkward. I think the end result is about the same. I mean, in terms of average cost it is. Uh, yeah, let's re-roll. There's not a lot of money left over. Yeah, I was going to say, we might end up with something like that, and that hurts a lot. Be nice to remove... 
Oh. oh, I can't double up on it. Now, that would AoE for a lot. I think what we might do is just have this, because it's not so important. And then we'll go and make... We could just make this free. Yeah, I mean, there's not many other upgrades we can do this one. I don't think double stack, spell power... And this we only cast once, because it gets consumed. I'll just make this free. I really like that, I think. Okay, so we are going to boss four now, right? Because there's one, two, three, four, yeah, five. Okay, good. We'll do this one. And we'll put in a cut after this, assuming I don't forget. Uh, spikes. I think spikes might be okay. You gotta can't and get armor, which is annoying, but this gives us artifacts. I'm gonna risk it. I think we've got enough kind of tech to deal with the spikes. We don't have multi-attacks. We'll do you. We will do this. Um, I... Oh, well, the Umberstone doesn't do anything for us at all right now. Because he's not going to be able to overkill anything. So the Trample doesn't do anything. I'm going to grab you, and then I'll just cast a Frozen Lance here just to trigger an Incant. I'm going to have to Titan's Tooth on this floor to kill that for the gold. I think that's well worthwhile. Um, and then what I'll do is I will put a Gorger on the top floor. So it can eat that. Yeah, and that's going to be okay. Oh, one of these guys had an attack. Yeah, that's actually kind of annoying with the spikes. This one here, the Magma Morsel, is killing itself. Um, you're a Gorger, so it's that much more important. Although it's for lifesteal. Yeah, no, it's fine. We'll put that there. That's going to be okay. Um, we'll go ahead and add a Sweeper here. You've got Incant. Let's go and do this. And... Let me give that to you. The frostbite. I mean, he's just barely holding on with the lifesteal, but it's working. Who do you want to kill most? And what the healing actually is kind of annoying. You can also reduce some damage here, but I think it's okay. Um. I'll do it here because it does have an incant. I can't, I mean, I can't summon more dudes here. You don't have lifesteal? Let's give you a little of that. Oh, shit, the thorn. Oh, because you're an attacker. Damn, that's annoying. There's no way around that. Because you've got an attack and they all have thorns. Yeah, the thorns build, I forgot, it just completely... It doesn't screw up all my morsels, but it sure as hell screws up some of them. And yeah, purging more of the stewards would be useful. Refresh bit. Um... Oh, shit, I forget you have your incant. I mean, so do we, but... Although, this is the... There we go. Okay. Hey, you finally get to eat one of those. Congratulations. Um, well, the 
Umbra Stone doesn't make any difference for us right now. We'll Shade Splitter a couple of times here, get some more Encants, you're going to die without doing much damage. Uh, this is all of a sudden a lot scarier than I thought it would be. Um, I may as well play this just so that you get another round of Encant, and that's, I mean, that's it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Thorns may prevent us from building up enough damage here. And not being able to nuke these actually was really awkward because they did more damage than our life steal. Because otherwise we would have been in great shape. Um. Yep. Excellent. Now you're not going to die instantly. And do this because you're going to keep ticking, and it will do that. And then, shade splitter, or frozen. Land? I think shade splitter. Oh, you're already dead. Oh well, shit. Excellent. And this guy would have been pretty beefy on top with lots of life steal. Actually, I think we would have been okay. Like even if this floor didn't exist, I think we would have been okay. Because he's just been sitting there getting more and more powerful the whole time. What is what? Oh, that's an artifact. Morsel units get damage shield one. Oh hell yes, that would have really saved our bacon on this one. Um, plus one on this floor, maybe. Uh, void mining applied damage shield two. Oh, ember drain's kind of annoying, but. I don't know. And then this is cool for the extra energy and stuff. You know what? I think I like the Crucible extension. I think we're going to mess with that. It is one to enemy units. Discard your hand. Uh, which could work with the offering stuff as well. Deal one damage to random enemy unit five times. If we buff this, it's cool. And plus seven magic power on this floor. It doesn't do much for us. Although it works nicely with the Ice Storm. Do we actually want any of this? Or are we going to... You know what? I'm going to skip it. And on that note, we're going to put a cut in the video at this point. Folks, thanks for watching another episode. Looking forward to seeing what we can do with this deck. Uh, sort of a morsel slash frostbite oriented deck. Sure, why not? Frozen morsels. Mmm, fast food. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.